Sunrise Daily Warrior, yes, indeed, we're turning our attention to the convention, which has just been concluded. But we have uh, Turner Ogbaru here with us. He is the chieftain of the APC in Delta State. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much. Well, well, well. The report we saw, yes, in the midst of it, was um, the Delta APC engaging themselves in, in a free for all fight. And many just wondered for the life of them, what in the world was going on? Why did Delta State have to bring the fight to the convention when the president was delivering his speech? It was a very shameful act. The faction that was accredited is the only Congress that was held consistent with the APC Constitution. The APC National Working Committee set out a guideline for the conduct of word and state and local government and state congresses. These panels that were panels had to work with the state ESCO and the local working committee in each state. And so the only group that was accredited was that very group. And there was a subsisting judgment of the Federal High Court endorsing that very group. The Otega group were not accredited, and so they were not able to enter into the venue. But how did they what they did they was seated? that after a while, they went to smuggle uh, uh, observer tags and press tags. Otega himself is a member of the convention committee. So they didn't come in with accreditation of delegate tags. So he's a member of the committee? Yes, he's a member of the National his Convention group, Committee. And you say his group were not able to get tags to go in? No, they were not accredited because they were not the lawful group that have been recognized by the Convention Committee. Because based on the lawful judgment of the Federal High Court, which is this of 16, which they wanted to set aside on Friday before the convention, and based on the very fact that it was the only con the Congress that produced that delegate was the only group that was inconsistent to the party constitution. Okay, but if they didn't get any, uh, according to you, official, they were not accredited attacks, as delegates. So how how did they get they to went sit to in before the, you the, before the, the, your group? They which smuggled the, they, they used observer tags and press tags and got in before the other group. No, 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 no. They were never there. It was only our group that was there. That story that they went to eat is a lie. They were never accredited. Right from the hall, when we were, we were accredited for, we were brought in in the buses, into the venue, they were never accredited as delegates. The records are there. You cannot accredit two, two groups from one state. It is not possible. It is only one group that was accredited, and that was the group of Ogura that was accredited. And that was the group that was seated there next to Edo, the uh, delegates to the, convention, to, to the convention. So at what point did this happen? At the point where the president was speaking, this group who had collected a lot from the manipulated with aid of Otega and some other persons, they got observer tags, came in while the president was talking. Obviously, their major aim was actually to attack Chief Great Ogboro. It wasn't even just that. They were, their major aim was to attack him. Why? Why would they Because they felt he has destroyed all their plans. You know, they've been working in concert with the national chairman of the party to undermine the party constitution and to undermine the processes. And that's all that shenanigan uh, activities that they were doing fell flat on their feet because remember, the, national, the outgoing national chairman of the party, while the ESCOs, their tenure was still subsisting, their tenure has not lapsed. The, the, which one? Oyegu, the tenure of the ESCOs in all the states in the federation their tenures were still subsisting. The tenure of the state escorts lapsed after the national because the national swore them in. So it is after the expiration of the tenure of the national that the state escorts. No, but they were supposed to swear in the chairman and then those will come back to the Yes, state but that is not to be done by him. It's a that's supposed to have done that now because he cannot swear in a government upon a government that's existing was it done? with an existing so, so, existing. So that action was void ab initio. He had no business, but it was a desperate action to foist a faith accompli to be able to get his arranges and his boys to in, in place against the party constitution. So who was sworn in? So he swore in uh, Siri Ogodo. Siri Ogodo was rooting for him, who came out publicly that they are not supporting, Delta is not supporting Oshomole. Whereas his own chairman 
had said we have endorsed Oshomole in the South South Congress, in the South South Caucus, to be the candidate because by the National Working Committee's arrangement, we were to maintain the zoning formula for the office, current office holders and to reduce acrimony. You know, it was said substantially if there's no real need for change, just adopt the people to come back. And so the very chairman that was there with Otega before we joined the party, the very chairman Jones and his ESCO, only one member followed him. So it was. It was we so said, go back. So who was it? It was. Uh, he was the person. It was the Lord of Ortega that brought many of you in to the he, party. Yes, he. We, we negotiated our coming back to the party. You get it. But by the time we came, we were we swallowed them up because they were like five thousand. We came in with about hundred thousand. So you can see that there was no basis for them to contest with us. And the party guideline requires that at the world congresses, all card registered members of the party are to line up under option A4 behind their candidates. And so by that formula, there is no way they can get one seat. And so instead of coming to do Congress, Chief Great Ogboro called Otega and said, bros, come, let us arrange these things because the only way you can get anything is by negotiation. Because by numbers, if we are to go by political numbers, you will not get anything. No. So he brought you all in to so follow him up to the party? We, before we entered, we had an arrangement even where we considered sharing formula and we give them the higher formula because they are the original people but as soon as they entered chief otega and his group they started running another agenda which is inconsistent with the apc constitution and, and the, in the interest of the party by trying to get an anioma agenda and that anioma agenda if pursued by apc is to automatically give okowa a second term because we don't have any member of APC in... So does that, does that mean that if, uh, if I understand what you're saying, the position of the candidate, of the governorship candidate in the state yes. for APC is not supposed to go to Delta North? It is not. It is in Delta Central. By the arrangement, Otega ran in, under in Delta Central. And the National Working Committee of the party said we should maintain the zoning structures that was used in 2015. But Chief Otega, because of their personal aims, wanted to change. Siri or God or whom he wants to plant in there is from Delta Central. The chairman is in South, Delta South, and Jones is from the South. So he wants to manipulate it to bring the chairman now to the Central. And when you bring the chairman to the Central, you cannot bring the governor from the Central. Okay. So that was what Otega was trying to do. But the party had given direction, and we abided by the party's direction. Who is the leader of the party in the state? The leader of the party in the state. Chief Otega is the leader of the party before we came in there. But if your boss comes back to the same house with you, you become subject to him. Chief Gretok Boru was his boss. We, it was our boys he took from DPP to APC, that he used to oppress APC, to become the leader of APC in Delta State. Then Adola Okotiebo, who was the chairman, of ACN before they came. You know, yeah, he went to court, he nullified this Jones, this thing before the Supreme Court reversed the order. So these very boys have just come back to their own house. We have not imposed any leaders. The very leaders who were there, whom he used, our very boys that he used, are the ones who have returned back home. We said, you will go ahead. 